G'day everyone, Jamie Chapman for another episode of 3 Minute Histology. In this video, we're going to continue our look at epithelium. In particular, we're going to be focusing on a special type of epithelium known as pseudostratified epithelium. Pseudo means uh, fake. So basically, pseudostratified epithelium are fake news. Uh, so pseudostratified means fake stratified Usually it's a columnar epithelium. There's very little variation of that. Um, so pseudostratified means it looks like it's actually a stratified epithelium, multiple layers, but in fact it's only one layer. So it actually, um, the epithelium sort of sits on a uh, basement membrane here, and we have cells which are all attached to the basement membrane, but they actually don't all reach the surface. So it actually is a simple epithelium, but um, the cells uh, look like they've got uh, nuclei, all of these various layers. So it's actually not a, a true uh, stratified epithelium, which is why it's called pseudostratified. Usually it's columnar, so the, these cells near the surface actually uh, often columnar, but we do have nuclei at the, at the various levels, as I mentioned. We have these basal cells, uh, these are the stem cells, uh, and often we find uh, apical uh, projections associated with them, either in the form of cilia or stereocilia. So we're going to be talking at that uh, in particular with our uh, two main slides today. So um, in order to do that, we need to start our three minutes. So we're going to go to our digital slide box and start our three minutes. Okay, so what we have here is that section of uh, the trachea uh, and also the esophagus. So the, the epithelium with the pseudostratified epithelium is, of course, the trachea because uh, the pseudostratified mm -hmm. columnar epithelium is actually the respiratory epithelium that forms uh, a vast majority of the epithelial lining of uh, the respiratory system. So this is the pseudostratified epithelium. Its true classification is a pseudostratified ciliated columnar. So we can see the surface cells here are columnar in appearance. If we think about the basement membrane being around about this region here, we can see it's quite a tall epithelium and we think about each of these cells actually being attached to the basement membrane, but not all cells reach the surface. And hence we've got nuclei at various levels and it appears to be a stratified epithelium, but we know because all the cells touch the basement membrane, it's actually a simple epithelium. So these cells here, these are the columnar cells. As I mentioned, the, the true classification is the pseudostratified ciliated columnar with goblet cells. Now the goblet cells in this section are actually a little bit tricky to see. Um, so uh, we're sort of looking for a pale staining cells uh, along the surface there, but um, as I say, they're not always that easy to see uh, amongst all of these columnar cells here. Now we can see these are cilia, they look like little hairs, we can actually see the individual hairs. If these were microvilli, we wouldn't actually see these little individual structures here because the uh, microvilli are too small for resolving. So the fact that we can see these little he hairs here indicates that these are cilia. Another good way to look for it is to look for this bar immediate beneath, be, immediately beneath the cilia. These are actually the line of the basal bodies, which are sort of centriole-like structures from which the micro tubules that form the core of the cilium actually arise. So if you can see this very acidophilic bar and you can see these individual little hair-like structures, then this indicates it's a ciliated type of epithelium. Now another type of um, pseudostratified uh, columnar epithelium that we can find uh, resides within the epididymis. So if we sort of zoom out a little bit to give us a little bit of context, this is the testis, um, the male gonad, and then on the posterior surface of the testis we actually have the epididymis. So if we zoom in here, you can see this lovely uh, columnar, pseudostratified columnar epithelium. Now these structures here, rather than being cilia, these are known as stereocilia, and stereocilia are actually uh, immotile very, very long microvilli, and they contain enzymes and they help to modify the surface of the epithelium. But again, we've got this uh, epithelium with nuclei, all of the different levels. Uh, again, it's a simple epithelium, um, but it actually looks like it's stratified. All these cells touch the basement membrane here. 
So this is the second sort of typical example that we can find uh, of this epithelium uh, in the human body. So respiratory epithelium and uh, lining the epididymis are two of the major sites that we can find pseudostratified columnar epithelium. Anyway, I hope you found that useful and uh, in our future videos we'll be looking at the other types of epithelium. So I hope to see you then. Hooroo!